Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Come on, don't be Come on, don't be I've got my own place. I've got my own place. Anti-Semitic nationalism. Don't represent the church. Let me speak. Let me speak. I can't get a word in each between you and this guy. Let me explain. Answer my question. I answered a number of your questions. Answer mine. Brother, what we notice with you and you claim to be a Christian is you constantly offload on the Muslims as the problem, and you're anti-woke. Now everybody knows that the promoters of woke in the West, hang on, hang on, the promoters of woke in the Western world are Jews. Lies! Frank, are the Frankfurt Lies. School. Lies! Frankfurt Frank School, ladies and gentlemen. Frankfurt School. The Frankfurt School, Frankfurt school, school was a communist, Muslim or Christian. communist school. A communist Jews. A way of Run thinking. Jews. Jews. Blaming the Christ Jews are they Muslim? is symptomatic of anti-Semitism, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And we should oppose nationalists who push anti-Semitism. But did he answer Jews? my question? Do you want him to answer my question? Do you oppose Muslims who push Sharia law, yes or no? I am, I, am a, I am a Catholic and I, unlike you, my duty is to make an alliance with the people I live with. And I love Muslims and I want to I want to find common ground with them. So in other words, job, no he doesn't. Your job. Do you do you condemn do you condemn the persecution of Christians way, across the Islamic I don't even world? Know why you're shouting. Do you do you condemn that? What I condemn is your failure to address Jewish moral subversion. No. And I think it's because you're a coward and you only offload a Muslim. I'll debate you right now if you want on this yeah. entire yeah. And by the way, oh Nick Cotton is still waiting. Would you, would you, would you, would you like to have a time? No, do you want to no. have a time First debate? First of all, you come with me. To is, do you want to have, do you want to have a time debate? I'm finish with Jamie. He's running away. But no, he's not. He's, he's running away. Don't have his anti-Semitism is such that he is willing Christian. to give a soft pass to the persecution of Christians around the Islamic no world, Jews, ladies no and gentlemen. Is it? Exactly. No Jews, no news. Have you ever, He's got nothing to say. Have you ever criticized? Do you condemn? Have you ever Do you condemn Sharia's apostasy laws that you're, kills Christians? You're always defecting. And to answer that question. You're always defecting. I we'll do question for question. No, 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 answer no, no, one, no, answer I condemn all sin. You let all him in. Sin. I want to talk to I him. I condemn all okay. sin. Do you? Are you prepared to direct the same kind of scrutiny to the Jews as you do to the Muslims? Right, ladies because and gentlemen. Because it's obvious you don't. I am going to answer his question okay. to demonstrate Let's what answering Let's a question looks like. Okay, okay, okay. And then I'm no. going to ask him a question. No, the the and I want you to see if he actually answers the question. Okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. We that's should answer. scrutinize Israel's treatment what about of the, the Palestinians and of the Christians both in Israel and around Israel, including, for instance, its sales of arms to Armenia that facilitated a genocide of 120,000 Christians Bob, we agree. in Armenia. Agree we agree. agree. Now High let five. me ask him a question. Ask Do five. you condemn the institutional persecution of Christians as established in Sharia law Yes or no? Are you talking about Tariq Aziz? Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking let, about Tariq Aziz? Let, let, Who was the spokesman for Iraq? I'm asking him. Let me answer. Where Christians lived in peace in Iraq. I'm asking let him. I condemn any unjust persecution, including when Muslims uh, persecute Christians unjustly, and all persecution. Now, the, the thing about it is, uh, the our duty as Christians is to Try and live in harmony no, with our neighbours. No, you don't think so. We shouldn't try and live in harmony. That's not our first duty. You're presenting it like it's a single duty, and there's I only one. A single one. Is it the first, when here in England, I would say my first duty as a Catholic towards Muslims is not to say I condemn, I condemn, I condemn. Unless they're say, Jews. Hold on, hold on. I, I will. Let's find common ground. You, you call him Allah. We call him God. There's only one God. And I think the essential, there he goes. Yeah, let me, the essential difference uh, is that 
Yes, we know oh, Muslims. Yeah. It's about our, our Sorry, mate. understanding of who Jesus Christ is. We believe he's God. Muslims honor him as a prophet. Uh, the Jews, Have who, you got who, who, killed, who killed Jesus Christ? Right. So, who killed Jesus I'm Christ? going to answer Paul, one of these questions, <laughs> and then I'm going to make a point, and then I'm going to ask him a question. Okay, so who killed Pontius Pilate? No, not Pontius Pilate. Sorry, my apologies, yes. Who killed Jesus Pontius Christ? Pontius Pilate was help if I get it right. The Pharisees. Who killed the Pontius Pharisees. Pilate? The, the leadership speak. Speak. of the Jewish nation were responsible with the Roman authorities for killing Jesus Christ. Now, no, no, it. let me finish. All right, all right. But, ladies and gentlemen, he made a claim that Muslims and Christians have the same God. Let me ask all the Muslims, do you believe in the Trinity? A silent, of course not. Do you believe in the Trinity? Bob, you're missing Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer the question. How many gods are there, Bob? Answer the question There's and one then God. answer the question. There is one God. Do you believe in the Trinity? Of course I'm a Catholic. Thank you. Okay. He then doesn't hang, believe hang in on. the Trinity. Who's that. right? Do you think I don't know that? Who's right? Of Let me explain. Let different. me explain. That's a very he's got to the nub of the issue. Let he's me still explain. Now you've got to the nub of the issue. And if we talk about the three great religions, the three great monotheistic religions, of one God. Christianity. Of one God. Would you like to do this time? Hold on. No, no. I can do this all no, day no, as long no, as you no, like. No, Shall we do this time? No, we're civilized. Let's get the real civilized good question. Christians Should don't. We, not, should we do this time? Christians do not need to time. We're not going to interrupt each other. Why don't you tell us what's in the bit of the You've been interrupting consistently. Let's get it. Jamie, let me. Because this is important. Bob, well done. He's asked the essential question. Right, it's about the Trinity. Let's look at the three great mono hang on. monotheistic religions: Judaism, Christianity. You claim to know them all, but you don't know me. No, no, Jamie, give it, yeah. Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. There is only one God. The Jews would claim they believe in God. Uh, is so do the Muslims, and so do the Christians. Now, what's the difference? We we believe God is the Trinity. God is three-dimensional, in other words. The Muslims uh, reject that, I, and I know that, and that's a debate we can have. Do you respect the, 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 the Jews? The Jews reject Jesus Christ at the time, and you mentioned the Jewish leadership. Can you be a leader without followers? No. When we talk about the Catholic Church, has always said, "Who killed Christ?" The Jewish leaders and those who follow their lead, from the Gospel of John, chapter eight, that group is identified as the Jews and the Jews still exist in the world it doesn't include every single Jew because every Jew has free will but essentially if you ask the question yes the Trinity is what divides us but I have much more common ground with Muslims who honor Jesus as a prophet than the Jews who, who continue to reject him to this day can I reply right Offer. ladies and gentlemen he says he's got more common ground with Muslims than Jews Let's be clear, Muslims deny the crucifixion which is at the very heart of all Christian belief. Muslims deny the resurrection which Jews? is at the heart of all Christian belief. How about Jews? Muslims deny the Trinity the no, which is at the heart of all Christian Bob, belief. Say the now he word. wants to say, say what, about yes, what about on. the Jews, Tell what about the Jews, what about the Jews? Of course the Jews deny the same things so that and okay? that he means yeah. That means that as Christians, the right Christian position is to reject both ideologies. So what, does but what does he do? What does he do? He wants to obfuscate on the questions of Islam. And why does he want to obfuscate on the questions of Islam? Because hating Jews and stirring up prejudice against Jews is more important to him than standing up for the Christian no. faith, let, let me, ladies can I respond and gentlemen. To that, please? Who yeah. said that? Who used Hang the word? On. Ladies and gentlemen, Jewish it Jewish says in Galatians, and I want him to address this point, that if anyone preaches a gospel other than this, that Christ was crucified and that he rose again on the third day, let him be accursed. That means every rabbi 
that teaches Christ was not crucified or risen is accursed. That means that every prophet like Muhammad is accursed. And so I want to ask him this question. Will he say that Muhammad is accursed for saying that Christ was not crucified? Did you hear the question? Say it again, sorry. The question is, will he say that Muhammad is accursed because Muhammad said Christ was not crucified. Brother, brother, as a Christian, okay, a couple of things that I think, and look, I'm older than you, so let me, this is just friendly advice, don't take it in a patronizing way. Your whole spirit seems to be uh, to promote division. Okay, when, when we have a dialogue, as Christians, we should seek to find common ground, right? And I'm not denying, we know. I, the, the, the Trinity is the stumbling block, but I would say uh, when I speak to a Muslim, the fact that they honor Jesus Christ as a prophet. Now, it's a big demotion, let's be honest. From We believe he's God, the Son, we can talk about that. Uh, but you recognize him as a prophet. Now, that means the moral order that Jesus Christ instituted, you as Muslims, you're very amenable to that because you honor him. That's good. I think the Jews are in a much more difficult position because they rejected him. And if you look at the behavior of Jews since the crucifixion and right up to this day, that rejection is obvious in their behavior. It's a genocide. It's a genocide. I don't know. I think, you know, you did, in fairness, you, you did condemn it, Bob, and I appreciate that. And I admire you for that. But, but shouldn't we the say other, the other, last thing, last thing. The other element of Jewish influence in the world. And by the way, when I say the Jews, I do not mean all Jews. I mean the Jewish leaders, he only calls them leaders, but leaders have followers. They're called the Jews. The Gospel of John will attest to that. They engage in moral subversion. And if you're a Christian, you have a duty to fight moral subversion. And you will not do that by attacking Muslims. If you look at sodomy, gay marriage, transgenderism, abortion, abortion. Abort. Did you know in abortion, in America, when Roe v. Wade was overturned, there weren't Muslims on the street saying, this is our fundamental value, it was the Jews. Can I reply? Let me finish that. The, the Jews, about 400 Jewish organizations, were on the street with placards saying, access to abortion is a fundamental Jewish value. Now? That's the opposite of Christianity. Can I Sorry. Right, so let's be clear. As a Christian, I condemn any Jew that is pro-abortion. However, what this ignorant doesn't know uh, is now. that Sharia Christian law, language. Sharia law, Sharia much. law permits abortion. Will he now condemn Sharia law for permitting abortion? All right. No, I haven't finished. Oh, sorry, I haven't finished. <laughs> okay. no. uh, he, hey, said, brother, he said, brother, he said, he said, do not. Now he said, Bob, ladies and gentlemen, Bob, you don't need to that we should build alliances with Muslims in opposition to Jews. Let's be clear. Scripture says this. Do not be unevenly yoked with the unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? What accord has Christ with Bilal? Or what portion does a believer share Good with point. an Let unbeliever? I haven't finished. <laughs> Islam permits polygamy. That's adultery. Islam permits secret marriages. Islam permits child marriage and sex with children. Does he condemn Islam for all of those things? Does he condemn Islam for, for allowing abortion? I've already stated, I will condemn any rabbi who teaches those things. What about the Jews? So will he condemn Muhammad for teaching those things? Now he said that I have an agenda of division. Yes. And I do. Even the He's way absolutely way. right. Oh. But I'm in good company because oh. these are the words of his Lord Jesus Christ. I came to cast fire on the earth and would that it be already kindled. I have a baptism to baptize you with. And how great is my distress until it is accomplished. Beautiful. Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? 
no, I tell you, but rather division. So Jesus came to bring division because truth separates those who stand with truth with those who stand with falsehood. And when he makes alliances with Muslims against Jews, he is unevenly yoked against an unbeliever. And he has not condemned Islamic right. teaching with the examples that respond. I gave. Let me respond. Is that okay? You've done. That's good. But, uh, by the way, as a Christian, I forgive you. I'm not sure if you, it was warranted to call me ignorant, to be fair. But anyway, I, but maybe I am. Anyway, uh, if we let's start with his last point about Jesus Christ said, "I have come to bring a sword." Uh, uh, the sword. Now, fundamentally. That is not about creating division with your neighbors in your culture. It's about, essentially, what Christ did that was completely new is he separated the sinner from his sin. And that's what the sword of truth does. It says, I condemn the sin, but I never hate the sinner. I never hate the sinner. And I apply the sword, first of all, to myself. Now, if you want to kind of say, I'm going to apply that to kind of to have division in my country, England, which I love. I think that's a misinterpretation, to be honest. You know what I mean? Now, the problem uh, in this country... When you're done, you done, you done, you done, I'll reply. Wait, wait, while well, you're done, are you done? The problem right. in this okay, country... Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen... The problem in this let country let reply to is his Christianity. He said that Christ... This guy, he said he's that Christ didn't come to cause division oh, against problem. your neighbors. We are a he demonstrates people. that he We're doesn't know the, the scripture. He's arguing from a non-scriptural position. Here's what it says. For from now no on, in one house, oh, there will be five divided. Three against two yes, and two policy. against three. As far as they will be divided. Yeah. Father person. against son, son against father, like mother against walk. daughter, right. and daughter against mother, mother in law against her daughter in law, and daughter in law because against her mother in law. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, so we, we used he made the claim the that the Christ was not teaching about division against oh, your no, neighbor. No. He's saying that you would be divided in your own household, let alone against your neighbor. And so the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, he's coming out with platitudes, not biblical exegesis. He hasn't rooted his line of argument in the words of Jesus. He has rooted it in, in the, the teachings of the Catholic Church. Uh, in the political platitudes the teachings of, the Catholic of misguided Church. bishops like the Pope who oh, said that all religions lead to God. So let me ask him, he, this is the Pope's word, all religions lead to God. There's a different kind of So here's my question to him. Does voodoo lead to God? Does Arianism Lead to God. You, you answer those questions. The answer, no, no, the answer is here. I'm asking him. I'm asking him. No, he's not I'm asking answer. him. Are you running away? This Are question? you running away? Yes, I'm answering No, no, I'm talking to him. Yeah, well, I'm in I'm talking to him. The problem in this Are you running away from the debate? The problem in this Are you running no, away from the debate? I'm right here. Right, well, respond then to what I've said. No, no. Why are you hiding behind me? No, no. You let him in, tough. Right. Yeah, that's tough on you. Tough on you. Let's not push one another. Right. Right. Well, Let's not push one another. But you're leaning on me. Let's not push one another. This you is my pedestal. Right. You're not pushing right. right. me. So what's, what's your response? Yeah. All right. and the fact Why are you running away? Right. Why are you hiding Why behind you him? Brother, you're Why are you, you hiding behind him? Why don't you talk to me? Why are you hiding behind him? Why don't you talk to me? Is that a Christian way to talk to a fellow Christian? I'm telling you, respond to the point that I made. Respond to the point that I made. Why do you not respond to the point that I made? Christianity is the problem. Why? There you go. The nationalist said Christianity is the problem. It is the problem. Thus demonstrating he's not a Christian. Christianity is the problem. No Christian. Would say Christianity. Is oh the yes, problem. in this country, he is a nationalist the trying to kidnap.
the Christian faith for his own anti-Semitic politics. I don't think he meant and it like that. every Christian should reject him, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so what I'm saying is, right, the British people have fallen from their Christian values, which he doesn't hold. Why this man is attacking Muslims? Why are you hiding behind him? Why this man is attacking Muslims? Why this man is Why are you hiding behind him? This man attacks me. Why are you hiding behind him? 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 Why are you refusing to answer the question? Talk to me. You let him in. No, and I'll talk to you. Answer the question. Don't touch you. Don't touch you. Don't touch the ground. You touch me. So answer the question. Let me answer. Let me answer. Right. Answer the argument that I made. You will answer my question. Well, well, the Christians are giving themselves a bad name over here, man. Who claims to be a Christian <laughs> and says Christianity I, I want to talk to him. This man has shown his cover not to be a Christian. He's where everybody lies in Christianity to attack Islam. He should be building from the bottom of the world. Because we are lying books and full of people becoming Christian. He's here to build Christian values. Just last week, just last week, three people were talking to me about going forward for baptism. Right. So did you hear my response? Do you remember my response? Do you want me to read that? Just first thing. Will you respond to what I said? Can I speak, please? Will you, no, will you respond to what I said? I invited you. Do you remember my point? You're not behaving like a Christian. No, are you. Can I, let me speak. Now, the first thing to say is, do you mind moving over a little bit? Can I? Yeah. No, I'm still here. Yeah. Don't push. Don't push. Move your camera. Your camera, I'm not going to stop it. Boys, boys. Don't push. Oh, oh, oh. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Oh, hang on, hang on. Bob, 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 Come on, don't respond. Don't push. 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 Well, let's continue here. Yeah, no, I think we're all right. The first thing is, Bob, I love you brother, as a brother and a fellow Christian, but the whole way you're speaking and debating is not, a, is not very edifying. You're shouting, you're kind of accusatory. You called me ignorant. Maybe I am. No, I don't have to move, Bob. I'll be pushed. Was I right to call you ignorant? Did you know that Islam teaches? Abortion. Yes, I I to Did you know that Islam permits abortion? Yeah, no, I'm no, 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 very briefly. Abortion. Abortion. No, I'll recap my argument. Very briefly. I'll take a minute or two. You can talk for so long. I have another chance. No, that was his fault, not mine. That was his fault. And the only thing is, hang on. That was his fault, not mine. Oh, part of That was his fault, not mine. Can we make this more fruitful? Do you want to go over there and debate? Let's just stick to the Right. So, I'm going to recap my argument very quickly. Can I let me talk? No. Let me talk. I'm recapping very quickly. It'll take me a minute. about ten. Minutes. That's his fault, not mine. I wanted you to reply. You allowed him to interfere. You, in a very unchristian way, you were accusing me of cowardice. You are a coward. You are a coward. You are a coward. I actually accused you of ignorance. I accused you of ignorance. Well, did Jesus call the Pharisees whitewashed tombs? Did he call them foxes and vipers? Why are you calling me a coward? You are, you are a coward because you are willing to betray persecuted Christians Why don't you try and in this country and abroad because you, you want to build an alliance against Jews in this country with Muslims. Well, you, there's a whole lot of stuff you're accusing me of, so let me, right. let me respond. Let me respond. First of all, 
as, as a Christian, we should always give each other the benefit of the doubt. So accusing me of cowardice and ignorance, I just don't think that's very edifying. But leave that aside. I forgive you for that. Uh, we were on we were on abortion. No. I, well, can I deal with that? Because, I mean, that was a big issue that came no, up. No, no. That was not why, the point. Why are made. you not allowed me to speak? Do you want to do it timed? No. No. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> No, no, if he's shouting right Muslims, now. Muslims, I'm why sorry. Are you to this is a bad advertisement for Christianity. Why, why are you talking to him? Why don't you talk about... We're doing it again. We're not behaving very Christian, boys. I'm offering boys. you a time debate. Let's just have a conversation. Can you bring the volume down from 11 to about 4? I'm if on he four. stops shouting at me, yes, I can do that. Who started the show? You did. I, I, think you, I think you raised the volume, but never mind. Forgive and forget. Let's move on. I actually pray outside abortion centers all the time, twice a week in Brixton, because abortion is absolutely wrong. That's an innocent person. Now, I recognize that Islam has certain exceptions. I disagree with that. But again, let's begin with common ground. I think the fact that you Christians believe, we all believe in the same God, you believe you're going to be judged, that he's the creator. I think that's how we start the dialogue. And then, when we get time and we understand each other, then I will present my position on abortion, why it's always wrong, and then you can decide, well, maybe I'll reconsider the Muslim position. But that's how we, as Christians, we do that. I think it's more difficult with Jews, although I will talk to Jews. I love Jews. God, Jesus Christ, commanded us to love even our enemies. So I love the Jews. And when you love someone, you will, it's our duty. We admonish them, we call out their sins, if that's a genocide in Gaza, I would say it's wrong. Not because I hate the Jews, it's because I love them. And the other thing, but to finish on the, on the point, if you look at the position of Muslims and Jews, Jews are much more pro-abortion than Muslims. And I think, Bob, all I'm saying is whenever you address a Muslim issue, I would say choose the corresponding Jewish position, present that, condemn both, and then I think you will come across as a much more reasonable guy. Yes, Go for it. Yes, right, so let's be clear. Let's be clear. And keep the he voice wants down. me. You know. No, you don't get to talk. Right. He wants me. He. This is how entrenched anti-Semitism into his worldview is. Oh, I said I love the Jews. He wants, and now you're interrupting. Is that he wants me to always, whenever I criticise Islam, criticise the Jews. To be fair, yeah. When I am debating Jews, I will criticise rabbinic Judaism. But this park is full of Muslims. And so who do I end up debating most? Muslims. Fair so enough. what am I going to condemn when I'm debating Muslims? Well, Islam. Right. But ladies and gentlemen, no, I haven't that. finished. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I made a biblical point, two points. Firstly, Christ does teach division. He didn't respond to that. Christ said that he will divide you in your own house in your own living room. How does that correspond to his liberal political point? Let me point? explain, let me explain. I haven't explain. finished. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. How, does, how does that correspond to his liberal political point about building Muslim alliances against Jews? Secondly, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, not even liberal, nationalist. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, I pointed out in scripture that it says, do not be unevenly yoked with the unbeliever. And that is exactly what he is doing. Because he is unevenly yoked with the Muslims, he will not condemn Sharia law. He has been challenged. Does he say that Muhammad is accursed? Because Muhammad taught another gospel apart from the apostles. Does he condemn the apostasy law in Sharia law? Does he condemn abortion? All that he can bring himself to do is go, well, we can have a conversation about that, but let's focus on the Jews, well, hang ladies on. Okay. and gentlemen. Can I respond? Good man. Ladies and well gentlemen, done. I'll ask him a simple question. I want to hear the response. In hang Galatians, on. the apostle teaches that anyone who teaches a contrary gospel to that taught that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again, is accursed. Right. Does he believe that Muhammad is accursed for denying the crucifixion of Jesus Christ? Brother, thank Answer you for that. that. Question. Thank you for that. What you misunderstand is 
how you deal with people who have different beliefs. You think it's to kind of rant at them and to, uh, like you did to me, call me, call them ignorant, call me cowardly. The Christian way is to say, yes, there are differences. Here is the Christian position. See what you think of it. You're a rational creature. All Muslims, Jews, God made us all rational creatures. We are created to love the truth and to find the truth. Now, I think you're mischaracterizing me on abortion. Uh, I, I, the difference between your activism on abortion and mine is you go to the pro-life rally, March for Life, and you trade slogans with the feminists. Uh, with the pro and well, most of them, Bob, they're wounded women that have had abortions. They're guilty. They're angry. And when when someone like me and you they're say fooling. abortion is wrong, we we they get angry and it because they think well, when someone condemns your sin, you feel angry. But the Christian response is not to start calling them uh, bad names. But we when I've been at the March for Life probably a lot longer than you, we go up there and we try and speak to them individually. And I. For many years, I've been going to abortion centres yeah, all over London, mainly in Brixton and Clapham and Streatham, where I live. And I will, the women going in there and their husbands, I will say, look, we can help you with the Good Council Network charity. Now, I think that I think that's a much better position to have. To can be I respond? Tonight. Sure, go for right. it. So, ladies and gentlemen, did you hear an answer to my question? Did you hear him answer whether he is willing to say Mohammed is accursed? because Mohammed denies the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. No, you didn't. Well, let me explain. Good no, night. no, I'll finish before you replied. i let you finish. <coughs> go for it, no, go for no, it. No, ladies and gentlemen, go for it. this is the problem when your beliefs are more rooted in some kind of politics than they are in scripture. No, it's the catechism. Because he is not willing to condemn Mohammed as accursed as the apostles condemn all who teach another gospel, all who teach another means of salvation that is not wrought by Christ's death and resurrection. He's not willing to condemn it. But let's be clear Let where his that. politics is leading him. He is not willing to stand up against the fact that in this country there are Christians who have left Islam and have been forced out of their homes and towns because of the harassment of Christophobic mobs. I know many of them driven from their family homes, driven from their towns. Even some of them have had murder attempts on their life. Why? Because of Christophobia in the middle of the Muslim community that is unchallenged, unchallenged by the liberal state and unchallenged by Christian sops like let, this let, and now who soft. give grounds, oh. ladies and gentlemen, right, to respond. the very Islamists who are killing tens of thousands of our brothers and sisters in Nigeria, who attempted to wipe out the Christian population of Iraq, who persecute Christians in Malaysia and Indonesia. But, ladies and gentlemen, how vocal is he in saying that the Jewish Zionists are to blame for wokeism and that therefore we should go after the Jewish uh, Zionists because they are supporting wokeism. So why won't he condemn Muslims who support Sharia law, which leads directly to the persecution of Christians? Here's his chance to do that. One, say Muhammad is accursed. Two, condemn I mean? Muslims who support He's the implementation says, of Sharia me. law against Christians. Go on. Calvin brother, Robinson, brother, can I say, this, I'm, can I, can I say I'm a Catholic. Now, Bob is what I would call a typical Protestant. I'm a typical he, Protestant. Good man. I love you too. Uh, but not like that. He, um, he will take the bite. Now, we all know Shakespeare, he said, the devil can cite scripture for his own purposes. What you do is a difficult Protestant, you'll take a line of the Bible and say, well, you condemn uh, this person or that person. That is not the Christian way. Uh, he doesn't know the Catholic Catechism, which is the teachings of the church, who recognize that Muslims are the children of God and the people of God. And I want to work on that basis. He won't quote Leviticus chapter 18. And as I say, whenever he talks, he says he's fair-minded, but you say I only, because my, mainly my audience is Muslim, I will only talk about Islam. That's not how it goes. When we speak the truth, we have to speak the whole truth. And 
yes, we have a duty. It's not a, it's not a privilege. It's a duty to call out problems in Islam. I condemn Islamic persecution of Christians. You know, I, there was that lady in uh, Pakistan. Um, what was her name? Anyway, that's wrong. But we need to be fair when, when we spread the problems. And the, the biggest problem in the world at the moment is a genocide in Gaza. I've never heard Bob condemn that. And moral subversion here in the West. And if you look at who promotes moral subversion, it is not the Muslims. Not the, by the way, let me, did you all know, here's an interesting, did you all know that the owner of Pornhub, the biggest porn site on the uh, on the internet is owned by a trained rabbi, Solomon Friedman. Did anyone know that? Can I reply? Go for it. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Do I condemn Pornhub? Yes. Do I want it to be banned? Yes. Does that require me to put all Jews in the same Not basket all Jews, no. and say that the Jews, Jews, the Jews are responsible? No, ladies and gentlemen. Nor do I put all Muslims in the same basket Good and man. condemn all Muslims. God bless you. But I condemn Sharia law. I condemn that revelation that came from Muhammad that is degenerate, backward and savage You're on the Muslims again. that allows for child marriage, what about the that Jews? allows for abortion, you can't do it. that allows for secret marriages, that allows for adulterous marriages, that allows for divorce. He wants me to condemn degeneracy where, it, where, where a rabbi is responsible. I condemn the rabbi, I condemn the degeneracy. Now let him do the same with Muhammad, man, let me who permitted let me abortion, divorce, let me adulterous marriages, yeah. secret marriages, the persecution of Christians. Will he do it, let me ladies and gentlemen? Because this man is driven by anti-Semitism. He mentioned that Muslims are the children of God. Brother, in the same way that atheists are the children of God. Should I right, now right, ally right. with atheists in pushing an atheist agenda? Oh. No. All right. Thank you. Good man. Now, all right. Do you know what? I was going to mention a uh, coward, ignorant, sop, anti-Semite. You're kind of going through the whole list of names. I just say that is not a good spirit. But and, and I think he made an important distinction there, which is, is important. If you can, you can condemn Sharia law. Good man. But do you? Hang on. Don't. Con this is what the sword means. You separate the sin from the sinner. Do you condemn Sharia law? Now, I want to talk about your, your response to Pornhub because he always does this. Do you condemn Sharia law? He always does this. Now, when Israel, the Jews in Israel, they, when they invaded Ramallah in 2002, did you know they took over the TV stations and guess what they broadcast? Pornography. Pornography. Now, what does that tell us about pornography? Pornography is a weapon to demoralize. Now, Thomas Aquinas, Thomas Aquinas the greatest uh, Catholic theologian from the Middle Ages, he said, lust makes you blind. Right? Now, why would the Jews want to pump porn into Palestine? I think we know. Because a blind enemy is weak. And I think, yes, you can condemn you can condemn the rabbi Solomon Friedman, but I, I think you have to be more courageous and say the Jews deploy pornography as a weapon, and that's what should be condemned. It's not just one rabbi; it's the Jewish leaders and those who follow their lead. Can I and that's the distinction you need to make. Right. And when you're there.